What's up YouTube? So today we will be having a species special and we will be talking about my boy here Mako and he is an Odo Pike. So come and join me and I hope you enjoy this video. Its scientific name is Hepcetus odo. It was once believed that there was only one species of fish that fall under the family Hepcetidae. But recently, studies have shown that there is actually six different subspecies that fall under this category. And this includes the following. Hepcetus odo, Hepcetus covieri, Hepcetus kingsley, Hepcetus lineatus, Hepcetus microlepis, and Hepcetus occidentalis. Odo pikes are widespread throughout Africa and have been seen swimming in the rivers of Senegal, Togo, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Ivory Coast, Niger, Cameroon, Nigeria, Benin, Central Africa Republic, Guinea, Gambia, Zambia, Angola, Namibia, Botswana and Zimbabwe. It's a piscivore, meaning it has a lot of fish in its diet and it's a very successful hunter. Its linear body gives it a burst of speed for a short period of time as it chases its prey. Its powerful tail propels it forward, but most of the time you will see this fish hanging on top of the tank as compared to an arowana which roams around the tank. It was believed to reach a length of around 24 to 28 inches in the wild, but that is very rare in the aquarium environment because usually it will only reach around 12 inches. Some people reported seeing one around a 16 inches mark, but there's no visual proof to that as of to date. With regards to feeding, I feed Mako pellets and for some reason I think I got lucky because it just started eating it when he was still younger. When he was younger, I started feeding him bloodworms and then eventually he realized that everything I put in the tank is food. I've seen people feed them tilapia fillet, silver sides, worms, live fish, and even mice. I stay away from live feeding though because I feel it's much safer and less expensive to feed pellets and also it will give Mako the right nutrients he needs as compared to giving him live food. The reason I know Mako is a he is because of his dorsal fin. It is quite elongated and it reaches the adipose fin which is the small black fin between the dorsal fin and the caudal fin. In females, the dorsal fins tend to be less rounded and more triangular and it doesn't reach the adipose fin. The females also tend to get thicker as they get more mature and the males have a slimmer, more streamlined appearance. They will make free floating bubble nests in the wild as well. With Odo Pike being fast swimming fish, they require a longer tank space as they are quite skittish. I suggest a 180 gallon for a minimum tank size for one Odo Pike. I suggest keeping the water temperature around 77 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. They also thrive in pH ranging from 6 to 7.5, so they prefer a much softer water environment. Adding some driftwood in the tank not only provides protection, but it also serves to lower the water pH. As for tank mates, Mako currently have a single geophagus out in front with him. The other tank mates are still growing out and I just didn't want to put them in there because he might just try to eat them. I suggest getting a tank mate that are quite the same size as him or a fish that occupies a different water column. A good example is this geophagus which mostly stays on the lower part of the tank. I also suggest some polypter species or other fish that have the same temperament given that you have the proper tank size. I know people will keep them together with other odo pike but they tend to be more aggressive with each other. 
I try to avoid fish that are very aggressive because from what I've experienced, although Miko is a predator, he is not very aggressive at all. With that being said, I would avoid South American cichlids like Oscar or anything that could potentially be aggressive during mating. The reason I love Odo Pikes is because of their beautiful shape and the beautiful patterns that they have. I have always been fascinated by speedy predators, and as much as I want to have a predator such as an African tiger fish, I won't have a space for something that grows beyond 2 feet. Another thing that fascinated me about this fish is the set of teeth that they have. In Ghana, they are actually called Akawo Nyagbe, which means dog-like teeth, and Akawo which means attacker. They are a very fun fish to keep, and as much as they don't move a lot, one movement of the tail makes the fish swim from one end of the tank to another. This ability to have a burst of speed makes them a very successful stealth predator. So there we go, that's the Odo Pike. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you haven't yet, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Have a good day guys and fish out!